Well, hello there, YouTube. Have you missed me? I know I've damn sure missed y'all. Guys, I'm coming back today with a review for you this time. That's right, a review by three powerhouse companies. That's right, three powerhouse companies right now. Uh, recently, there's been a lot of the constant contact mechs coming out. You know, everybody's on a constant contact trip right now. And three names that you see thrown around a lot. And I know there's other constant contacts out there that people have, but understand these are the ones that I had before me. So I figure, why not? Let's kind of put them in like a little head to head and see what would be the best bang for your buck. You know, and understand that I appreciate all three of these devices being sent to me for the purpose of this review. Uh, I do want to put the disclaimer out there that this is strictly my opinion my opinion is not gold my opinion is not set in stone what works for you may not work for me my style of vaping may not be your style of vaping but without further ado let's take a look at what we got here we got the king by times vape and tenacious tx vapes bam times vape let's see if we can get to zoom in on that bam times vape king designed by Stan then we have the mech life arcless designed by ambitious vapor really really cool little packaging there's different resin options and all we'll go down up close on each one of them here accordingly in just a second and last but not least unicorn vapes constant contact Bam. So let's take a look at them. Let's dive down up close. Take a look at what's in the box. Whenever we get done with what's in the box, we're going to bring them back up top. We're going to go over the pros and cons of each. And then if I was in your position or if I was in my own position where I had the money to go down and buy one of the three, which of the three would it be and why? So y'all stay tuned. We're going to dive down, take an up close look at these three beautiful devices. And when we come back up top, we'll go over all set above. All right, folks. And now we're diving down up close first. And the first one on the chopping block is going to be the Mech Life Arcless, designed by Ambitious Vapor. Ambitious Vapor. Um, so I can get in on that logo halfway decent. Bam. There's the side of the box. The explanation of what's inside the box, all that good stuff. So, man, it's it's been crazy seeing the influx of constant contacts mods. I know that it's not like a new thing for constant contact. I think just recently it's actually gotten like a lot of attention of such. Forgive the mod for being dirty. I have been using it. I've had this for a very good while. I gotta say, first thing out the gate, man, I love the aesthetics of this mod and the feel of this mod. That resin right here the feel of it is just beautiful man I you I can't really explain how it feels and there is the button ambitious vapor really cool button of course you're here inside and the all three of these are designed to run on 18650 2700 or 21700 there's a battery adapting tube right there nice machining on the switch Very, very cool. The magic happens in here, and what we're going to do is we're going to take all three of them apart. We're going to look at them and see just exactly what it is that makes each one of these tick. There's an instruction manual telling you if you're running it. And this is something I highly suggest anybody keep. You know, it's uh, for running it with one tube, and then you can run it in a series adapter. Uh... There was something in here I wanted to go over though. Uh, right here. This little power 
situation and how to run it and when you're running it in series and so forth and this is a good piece of information to keep for reference for any series mod that you're running and so forth you know to to really understand the way you need to build for series build versus just a straight single build very very cool information i'm glad they included that in the manual uh, let's take a look what's inside this box truth be told i've never opened this box so And of course, my fucking phone will go to wrangling. I need to shut that motherfucker off. Unprofessional as hell. Sure I am. I'm rusty. Fuck it. Alright, so what do we have here? Ah, fuck. You know how long I looked for a matching drip tip for this son of a bitch and literally I know it came with a matching drip tip? That's fucking crazy. Matching button. That is awesome. Super awesome. O-rings. springs bam bam and another contact really really cool and guys i know somebody's saying how's he going to review on something he's never even looked at what's inside the box man i review this part of it all this aesthetic parts and replacement parts that didn't make me none i want to know how this performed so it's really cool that they do have this in the box with the drip tip super super awesome super stoked about that gonna be swapping these out when i take that switch off that's for damn sure oh and there's the battery adapter as opposed to the better adapter I had in there. Oh well, same difference, same thing. Bam. All right. So just some quick general specs on this one here to move these extras out of the way. Fire up my handy dandy. Is it 25 millimeter? Uh, the length of this device is going to be 91.26 top to bottom on the length. Go up an inch, scratch that up too bad. Pretty cool. So you can comfortably put a 25 millimeter atomizer up top. Dive down, take a look at this real quick. All right, so see it's got a slot here and a slot here, so I'm going to need a screwdriver to get that open, so just bear with me one brief second. And I got my handy dandy Waterfall build kit. You know why? Because I know there's a screwdriver or some tweezers or something in here that I'll be able to use to get that apart. And I'll try these to see how that works. Bam. It works. Just to get it started, and I'm gonna set the tweezers to the side. I'll probably need them on the other switches as well. And I have had this part apart before. I looked at it because it actually came apart on me. So screw, button, contact, bam. Pretty cool. So now I can take that and that put them like that. Take this and screw that. Down like so. And then Now I got the matching resin button, which this thing just went way up on my list for aesthetics because of that matching button. Really, really cool. And the matching drip tip. Shit, you can't really can't beat that, guys. I think we're going to see a lot of the same design when it comes to these constant contact buttons, but we'll open them up, we'll take a look at them, and we'll see. I don't let me jump the gun there. So that is the MechLife 
Arkless by Ambitious Vapor. Man, I got to give the guys huge, got to give them a lot of credit, man, because regardless of what people think of him, the man's out there, he's making his moves, he's doing his thing, you know, putting his name wherever he wants to put his name. And man, it's his name. Ultimately, at the end of the day, that's his prerogative. He has every right to do so. That is on him. You know, I'm not reviewing the reviewer. I'm reviewing the product that is put before me. And this right here, this Mech Life Man, is a beautiful, beautiful little piece. I like the fill and throw of the button. I like it. Been using it very, very extensively. Uh, when we get back up top, I'll put an atomizer and battery in each, and we'll kind of vape all three and kind of go over all that as well. But So right now, that is the Mech Life Arcless. Really, really good design. Next up on the table, the King. Times Vape, official, designed by Stan, be tenacious, 18650, 2700, 21700, Times Vape, Keen Mechanical Tube Mod. Right out the gate, you get a little rag. Pretty cool, says Times Vape in the corner. Bam. Kind of wipe down your mod. Uh, what else we got here in the package? Matter of fact, I think it's better if I leave it like this. So we have a beauty ring and another beauty ring, a bag of spare screws or spare springs. And looks like we have some more springs as well. Pretty cool. Aha, now I see why they sent the rag. Because this, I'm sure, is a fingerprint magnet. But it is cool as shit looking. The colorway, the colorway looks really, really good. Got to give them that. Times they be tenacious. It says designed in the. Let me wipe that off so you can see it better. If you can at all. Designed in the USA. Designed by Stan. 3171. Really nice vent holes up top. There is the contact and switch housing for that one. Pretty decent on the threading there. Not too bad, not too bad. I don't know how that feels. Well, I guess I shouldn't have put that one up because I'm going to want to reference each one accordingly. So I might as well just leave that bad boy out of here. Come here. Get over here. I guess it's the resin on this one. It makes it seem like it's quieter, screwing it on and off, and the threads not being as much or something, but I really enjoy that one a lot. Aligned inside as well. So I guess this is where those beauty rings come into play, so you can adapt and make it fit different size atomizers. That's pretty smart move, actually, to be able to include that so that you can do different size atomizers, because it sucks when you buy one mod and trying to find one atomizer to fit up top. And let me explain that to you, because let's see here. Go on. Zero. So as it sits right now, this is... Oh, let's go to the inner ring, because that's where it's going to sit at. Well, hell, I guess the best way to do it would be right here because this is where you're going to see the inside diameter. It's 22.68 to the inside. You do have a little bit of a lip there. I better accommodate. So on the outside edge of that lip right there 
Looks like it'll take a 25. Not bad. Take a look at this other one. You get the damn thing out of its pack. Boy, they're really proud of that, huh? Well, probably take a 30 on that one. Regardless of what sizes it takes, man, I mean, you pretty common sizes that are out there are the most popular sizes anyway, so I think they did really smart on allowing you to do that. So let's say 25, 28, and 30. This is a Kali V2 on there. Let's see what that looks like. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty, pretty good. Got to give it to them on that, man. The fact that they included the three different rings for different sizes. Um, overall height. Let's take a look at that. Ninety-two point four. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Let's get down and take a look at the contact switch in this one. Again, you'll see two little indentions right there. Just take it and get it started backing it off. Shouldn't take much. When you get to that point, you can just take it loose. very unique little ball system there I don't know if you can see that there the indention that goes into there it indents inward let's see if I can get that on camera get it you fucker get it very 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 cool I like the way that's designed there to make the contact with that ball pin there it sits flat it's making good more surface area increased. What is that? A little metal flake of some sort. Oh well, it ain't gonna kill nobody. At least I don't think it is. Hope it don't. Pretty cool. Wait a minute. Okay, the threading is different. But those buttons look pretty damn similar to me. Interesting. See the coating here on there and not there. I wonder if that's going to have any effect on it. I don't think it should though. As long as we're making contact, we should be golden. And they say that the buttons out of the Dreamer, if you still have your Dreamer, will fit in there. That's pretty good. The, the universality of it, I guess, you know, the modular aspect of it. I guess I need to put the fucking spring back in there.
Alright, so then we've got the contact. Goes upwards. Make sure your little indention lines are facing upwards so that you'll be able to get it off again in the future if need be. It shouldn't be rocket science putting it back together. Kind of the same way you took it apart. And I will get it a little bit. That's the king by Tom's Vape, Stan, Tenacious TX Vapes. Let's move it over to the side and take a look at the Unicorn now. Unicorn Vapes, Constant Contact Mech Mod. Unicorn Ink, digging the old English U, man. That's really cool. You see that again on the button. Unicorn Ink's Vert. Is what they're calling it and I asked the guy some man the vert like is it like what's the deal with that and he's like man it's actually my name backwards like Trevor vert you know it's kind of rolling with it <laughs> oh man so they say this is a constant contact mechanical mod with zero arcing 28 and 26 millimeter body brass construction replaceable rings for customizable 21 700 2700 and 18650 compatible 30t is recommended for your battery in this one i do like the fact that they recommend the 30t by samsung because that is a very very well known battery from our guy battery mooch all right so inside the box of the unicorn mod you get your mod which we'll go over that in just a second get some springs it looks like some replacement springs get out of there Man, that's a big old hunky replacement spring and then you get the beauty rings interchangeable beauty rings and those actually coincide with right there on the top and right there on the bottom of the serial zero 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 is i wish this one had zero 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 stamped in it too that way i could have them both matched as zero zero zeros that'd be really really awesome and let's take a look at this one there's the unicorn ink unicorn unicorn ink vapes serial number zero 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 and there's that old English U we see. I love the looks of that thing right there. I do. Call me simple old school, whatever you want to call it. Battery adapter. Bam. Okay, so that's how one of the rings comes off. Let's look at this and see. Bam. And there it is, switched out with the beauty rings. Just swapped them out to the brass. Looks pretty good. Looking pretty, pretty good. Let's go ahead and get some measurements on this here. For the length. Even though they told us, let's just check it. So our length is 96. Uh, I guess if I want to be real particular right away, you're right up on it. 96 millimeters in length. And let's check our width. Oh, we can. Twenty-six point six seven. Twenty-seven. Does have a slight taper from the outward inward up top there. Pretty pretty cool looking little piece. Uh, let's go down and take a look at the switch on this one. Okay, this one you notice is different. We're not seeing any of the little rings for me to put this in there to kind of grab it and start turning it. So, ah, turn the bottom. I would advise keep your finger on both just to make sure you don't know nothing spring loaded come flying across the room or something. That always sucks. Ah, uh, very interesting. Very interesting. Can y'all see that there? Let's see if I can get a 
get in. Matter of fact, let me just zoom in like that. See if y'all can get that on camera. It's rounded. To me, match this contact here. But what it does is it does it via clutch system. Can you see that? Those four plates there. So whenever you press down on that, it pushes those I like the looks of this one here and I'll tell you why when we get up top because I've actually been using these for a while now and I wanted to give them all a thorough use so it's not like oh it was favoritism or this or that you know I want to be able to give you guys my honest opinion when it comes down to something and ensuring that you spend your money where you're going to get the most bang for your buck. That's the contact plate on the inside. There's like the bearing of such that you, I guess you call it. Let me put this on here real quick and see if I can show you something. See how that makes a contact in there? That ball swivels on that clutch system. It's got like a gel, like electro gel or something in there, I would say. I don't know if the camera's picking it up or not. Sorry about that, my camera cut off. I don't know if you guys are seeing that there. It's like an electro gel or something on the plates there. It's hard to pick it up on the camera. But I'm really, really digging the way they've done that. I can bet it's a pain in the ass if you lose one of those plates, though. Very cool. Glad they use a clutch system there. That's, that's something different. That's the only. That's, that's what's different about this one as opposed to the others. But I am seeing the fact that this is a rounded off there and rounded off in there. Uh, you remember on the keen, the keen switch is doing the same thing. It's rounded off in there and kind of fits in like that little cup. So, very, very cool. Very, very interesting. Put this back in there like so. And we're back in business. I'm just curious about something. I like that. The fact that you can rock it either way. You know, kind of kept it like, kind of like the little hints from the old Dreamer. Remember the Dreamer had that where you could put the top cap on the bottom, bottom cap on top. Can do the same thing with this one. Very, very interesting. I like the fact that they've done that. Oh. very cool tell you what guys we're gonna get back up top 
put a battery in each, put an atomizer on each, vape all three, and let you know what I liked about each one, pros and cons of each. And if I was in your shoes or in my own shoes, going down to pick one up, which one would I pick up and why? Let's check it out in just a bit. All right, folks, we're back up top. As I promised, we would do. Um, got fresh 21700s in each of these devices. The Constant Contact by Unicorn, the Arclus by Mech, or the Arclus by uh, Ambitions Vapor and Mech Life, and the Keen by Times Vape. Uh, going to take a pull on each one, kind of let you give you my thoughts and feels about I've used them all for a good bit of time. It's not like my first day using them or anything like that. So I kind of just give you a vape on one, a pull, and let you know what I think about each one and why. If it was me going out to purchase one, which one I would purchase and why? And up top is a Cali V2. Banging little RDA right here. I will say, of the three, the Unicorn Vapes has my favorite button. Not the button design, but the throw of the button itself. It doesn't matter where I hit it on the bottom here. Like, I don't have to hit it just dead center. I can hit it on anywhere on the bottom and it'll fire. This has to be probably one of the hardest hitting brass mechs that I have. I've had a few different ones, and I've got to give it to Unicorn on this one. Man, they really came out swinging. It is taller than its other two competitors. It is a few millimeters taller than both the King and the Arclus. Uh, the design aspect, you know, with the interchangeable rings, I really enjoy that about that one. It opens the door for future possibilities. I've already seen some teasers of these rings offered in different colors. You know, and the finishing, the different finishings of this, you know, I'm sure they're going to come out with a lot more. I've seen some teasers. I like Unicorn. I like what they do. I love their machining. I love their products. The Unicorn Vapes, Constant Contact, Vert Mod is definitely, definitely a winner in my book. It, it would be one that I will go out and purchase on my own because I thoroughly enjoy it that much. Next up, let's do the Keen by Times Vape and Tenacious TX Vapes. I got my airflow lined up right. The King is a banger as well. You know, I like the fact that it offers the different rings for different size atomizers to sit up top. Very, very smart thinking on that. I love the little dome in the constant contact switch, much like you see in the unicorn. Uh, it allows for more surface area. It feels as if you're getting a, sol a more solid hit off of it. It too, I think because of the fact that it has that dome in there, you can fire it just about anywhere you want on the bottom and it should fire. It's solid. I'm not much of the that ridge in the center piece. It, it doesn't do much for me. Aesthetically, it doesn't do much for me. It's like the Dreamer in my book was a beautiful mod, and we see it by the pictures that are posted online. And it was this is beautiful artwork too, but it was more photogenic, so to speak. So on the King, it doesn't do it for me aesthetically, and I'm not a big fan of that ridge in the center of the device. I'm not really digging that too much, but I am digging the fact that you can the adaptability of it. You know, you can run a larger RDA on here up top with the different beauty rings that are there. The finishing of it, this one is just a fingerprint magnet. You can see just from holding it, it just fingerprints everywhere on this thing. Uh, a solid device though. I love the, the, the switch in this one too, with that dome switch down there. It's really, really good. Uh, and prices, that unicorn, you know, I'm seeing it for about 109, I believe online, 119, somewhere around there, that ballpark. The Keen, I'm seeing it anywhere from about 80 bucks online. And then lastly, this Arclus. And I got to give it to this Arclus, man. I'm really, really enjoying this mod a lot. I've used it. I've used them all a good bit of time. But I catch myself going back to this Arclus many, many times over. Uh, the button that I did not know was in the packaging <laughs> is really cool. And the matching drip tip up top. The 
The only thing I don't like about the Arclus itself is also the button. The switch in the bottom, the firing of it. I feel like, you know, I have to fire that sucker dead center every time for it to hit. All of them are powerhouses, though. I mean, if I had to say one would hit harder than the other, I would. the Unicorn is probably going to be the hardest hitting one that I got. But the Mech Life, you know, I'm seeing this thing go for around 50 to 60 bucks. And guys, that's a bargain in today's market, man. What you get in this Mech Life right here for the price range of 50 to 60 bucks, man, it is hard to beat that. Yes, I love Unicorn Mods. Good guys over there, Trev. All them dude love everything they do. I would buy the Unicorn because not only do I appreciate those gentlemen, I appreciate their work. They got good craftsmanship there. But I understand that the viewers out there, not everybody's in a position to go drop 100 plus on a mech. So of the three, if I was faced with the option to go out and buy one of these three products of my own, with my own money, man, I got to give it to, oh, Ambitious Vapor and the Mech Life Arcless. This thing right here, guys, for the money, you're not going to get a better device than that. So if you're faced with buying one of the three and you're curious as to which one to get, buy the Mech Life Arcless. You're, what you get for this right here, especially in this resin finish, man, it's second to none. It's going to be hard to beat that. I, I just, I agree with that, the value. You know, being making sure that things are affordable, yet good craftsmanship good workmanship i did have these three riding around in a little uh mod holder that goes in your cup holder going over different roads and whatnot the only complaint i had is this one backed off the button inside of here backed off on me and that i mean some people may never have that problem you know but it was a problem that i had of the other two they did not give me that problem this one did i was able to take it apart and put it back together no biggie but it did back off on me whenever being transported in that cup holder you know just riding around hitting bumps and dips and shit so of the three pick yourself up a mac life arcless 50 to 60 bucks guys you're not going to be disappointed i know i'm not that's it for me folks i'm going to do like i always do because hey it's what i do and i want you to understand that i mean what i say whenever i say it because i absolutely mean it otherwise i wouldn't have said it if at any given point in time you have ever felt like you are not a somebody i want you to know that you are a somebody in somebody's eyes and that somebody is me i absolutely love you mr just right one is checking in and checking out at the same damn time i'm out